Hello my quilting family. We're here today with another border for this coffee themed quilt along. So here's our coffee pot, the center block, the inside border which is basically making the block big enough to go around or to have be surrounded by this little cute little four patch border we put on last week. So I decided I would shortcut this a bit and I sewed my coffee blocks strips together the way I wanted them to appear in the quilt. So these are all going the same direction. So this is going to be a directional piecing, right? So this is either going to be the top or the bottom. And then the sides, the side pieces go up and down along the block. Now I sewed these together and I kind of spread out the color the best I could. So every every side has a bit of blue and yellow and orange and it's going to be very cute. So some of you might be wondering how we sew on borders, right? Now, sometimes when there's lots of piecing like there is here on this four patch, your quarter inch seam gets either a little bit too chubby or a little bit too skinny, and now this sizing is out. So I'm going to show you how to do some pinning to, to ease in the quilt, or you can just go and if your, your, your quilt is a little bit really too short, just add a coping strip in. It'll look fine. So what we'll do now is we'll take you to the cutting table and lay this out to be pinned. It'll be fun. Okay, so here we are. We've lined this up and I can see that the, the, the four patch has been shrunk, right? So we're like, we're like a half an inch short on either side. Not really enough for a coping strip. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to do ease. So when we do ease, I get my pins out here and we're going to take the longer piece first and we're going to, or the smaller piece I should say, we're going to, we're going to uh, put it, line it up so that the ends meet perfectly, right? Both ends are going to meet and then we're going to find the center. Now the center is the middle of this block here and we're going to look for, there it is, it's that one, right there. So this is going to be our middle, right? So now what we're going to do is we're going to pin ease the rest of this in. So we can see kind of where we're at and sometimes they always say to, you know, put the bigger piece on the bottom. This is definitely how we're going to sew this and we're going to put this here. And give it just a little tug. No, you don't want this stuff to come apart on you, but at the same time you need it to sew together, right? And basically there's going to be little, not tucks, basically you're going to be putting the bigger piece on the bottom, the feed dogs are going to feed it in evenly. You're going to let the feed dogs do the work here. So now we just figure out this side. And this side doesn't have, just, just does not have as much stuff going on with it. That's good. So, so I'm gonna, I'm so, I'm putting pins in about every hand width away about that. Now, uh, we've got some serious, more serious puckers here. So I'm going to put just a few more pins to divide up what we have to ease in. That's all I'm doing, is dividing up what, what has to be eased in. Okay. And, last but not least, we're going to do this one. Now, none of these match up. The seams don't match up, and they don't nest on each other, right? So, it's, it'll work. It works fine. Okay. So now, okay, now we're going to head back to the sewing machine. And this side, this is longer, this is going to be on the bottom. So let's get back to the sewing machine. Okay, so here we are at the sewing machine again. The cups are pinned in place and they're on the bottom because it's the larger piece, right? So basically now we're going to start getting this in to place and we just pull our pins out as we go. Okay, now I cut off my little tab. So the first pin we're going to hit is here. So we just want to hold this 
just like the first pin is here. So we're just going to let the the feed dogs do its job and pull, hold in this, um, this, ease it in. And we got too much drag going on. Okay, so now I'm going to take that pin out. Never sew over your pins. You can really mess up the timing of your sewing machine. And now the next pin is here. And that's going to go through pretty quick. Make sure your seams are all going the right way. You're not flipping your seams. And there we go. This doesn't take long to do. And it works out very quickly. You could have add, you can add, you can always add a coping strip. If your border, if your center block that you're doing a border around isn't quite big enough, don't ever be, there's no harm or shame in having a coping strip in. Right. And okay. Now this is the part where we have more work to do and, and more uh, feed dog work to do. Right. So we're really going to put these guys to the top. We're just going to do a little a little bit here. I'm going to just back this off a bit. Lay it down. And you're not pulling. Pulling is not a good thing right now. But you're just gonna let them feed in. Okay, oops. Pulling is not good, but then my thing falls off the sewing machine bed. Okay, so here we got a little bit more to feed in. And I'm gonna do it over two pins. And you just work it slowly through. There's not gonna be any puckering on the other side if you go slow. Right, if you're slowly working stuff in. Okay, now this one's a little bit more, more. So you just give it a little, just a little help and you'll see whether or not you have to go, uh, which way, oh, I gotta get this lined up better. On the seam. And you don't ever want this to drag or fall off while you're trying to ease something in because that'll pull everything and it, it will make it look funny. It'll make it look odd. So here we go, last bit of easing to do in. Now I tend to over quilt stuff that's in use every day like a couch drawer that would be in use. And here we go and we are done. Now let's see what that looks like. So the most of the most of the gathering had to be done on this side. So this is what it looks like. And that doesn't look bad. There's no puckers and whatever fullness is there can quilt out. It'll it'll quilt out. Right? We're looking at this seam here, right here. It looks pretty good. Let me finish putting on the rest of the seams and we'll get back and you'll see where the coffee pot or the sugar bowl and the creamer go on the corners. But let me get back and finish doing the rest of the seams. So do you want to see what we just finished doing? It's so cute. It really is. Here, just a minute, I'll show you. It's getting bigger all the time. And right now, this is what it looks like. See all the cute little coffee cups around? Around and around we go. It's so adorable. Isn't that sweet? We've got the creams and sugars in the corners. And there we go. Yes, there it is. So. I hope you come back next week so that we can put the final border on. And this final border is optional. We're not little people, so we make couch throws big, and this is a really good way to use up some scraps. But come on back, and we'll chat, chat to you then. Bye! If you have questions about what you saw in this video, or you have ideas for content, or something you want to see us do, please put those comments in the description below. But also, while you're there, like, share, and subscribe with your friends. That would really help us out. 
Okay, I want to thank you and have a great day.